Today, we are fishing with giant live bait for pond monsters. A month ago, we went live bait fishing at this 10 pound bass pond a stranger told us about, and we had multiple surprise catches, but couldn't catch any of those 10 pound bass. So today we're going to head out to a different pond that I've caught some pond monsters at in the past. I've just never live bait fished it before. This pond is fed by a natural stream that's connected to a swamp. The fish are very healthy and aggressive, so I'm pumped to see what we can catch. We have some leftover supplies, but we still need to pick up a few things from this local tackle shop. First, we got some circle hooks. Next, we got some spare bobbers just in case we break off. And of course, we needed a new live bait bucket. But lastly, we needed to get some live worms. They had many options, including Louisiana pinks, red wigglers, and green wigglers. I decided to keep it simple and go with the red wigglers. But now that we have the live bait and supplies, it is time to head out to the pond and catch some of these monsters. The first step in our live bait video is to catch our live bait. We got a bunch of supplies right here in the back of the Jeep and we need to get started. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. First things first, need to grab our live bait bucket. And by the way, if you guys have been liking these live bait videos, let me know. Leave a comment down below and uh, let us know what type of live bait videos you would like to see next. I actually really enjoy filming these. Sometimes they're very difficult, but I have a lot of fun filming them. So here's the supplies that we got. We have a lot of the supplies from the last time that me and Connor came out to the 10 pounder pond, which we're not fishing that one today. So stay tuned to the location that we're going to because it's a natural water place, has natural water pouring into it from a swamp. And there's a lot of big fish, a lot of different species as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We have all the supplies from last time. We got some basic bluegill hooks, which is what we're gonna catch our live bait on. We got these little tiny circle hooks. We got these big circle hooks. That's what we're gonna be using for our big live bait for some of these big bass. We got a fillet knife just in case we would like to uh, cut up some of the bluegill and use them as cut bait. Got a bunch of different bobbers. Got some split shots. You know, we always need those. Our most important part, the baby bubbler, which is gonna go right here on the edge of this. And here is some of the new supplies that we got. I got a couple more bobbers just in case something crazy happens. And I got some more circle hooks. These are a little bigger than what I would like, but that's really all they had. So that's what we're gonna use. And here's for the cool part. We got some red, big red worms, some red wigglers. Let's wake them up. Come here, baby. Where are you at? Look at that. They're not that big. These are actually fairly small worms. The last time we got some big night crawlers. These are just standard red wigglers. You know, we're catching bluegill with these. We don't want them to be too big. Even if we got the big night crawlers, we'd have to trim them down. So first things first, we're going to rig up a few rods for these bluegill rigs. Get out to this pond, catch as many bluegill as we can. Then we're going to relocate to another spot and try to catch some of these big fish. So let's go ahead and get it started. Well, Tara, it is your first time live bait fishing today in fresh water. I know you've done it in the salt water, but it's your first live bait video. Yeah. Here today how are you I feeling know. No, i'm super excited i've been wanting to do this i would love to see you catch a monster fish but the first things first tara we got to get our poles ready for these bluegill so these are going to be the two bluegill rigs that we're using i have a mock smash right here pretty sick red combo and then i got the kicking their bass tv x lose combo if you guys want to check out any of the kicking their bass combos you can check them out kicking their bass.com They'll be linked down below. Also with the mock baits, you can check them out at mock. You wanna use the mock one or you um, want the kicking one? Okay. Your choice. I'll take this one. I'll take the mock one. Okay, I'm actually gonna flip this handle around guys cause Connor was using this last and he likes it on the right side for some reason. He's a little weird like that if you know what I mean. All right, Tara, so we're gonna tie these up at the same time, so make sure you follow the steps. First things first, guys, we have some of these Mustad brim hooks. These are size seven, so we're just gonna tie on the standard hook. This is with just a standard uni knot. Boom, just like that. Cut our tag in. Now what I want is a bobber. We do not want these big bobbers. That's for our big live bait. We're gonna actually get, I probably should have picked up a couple more of these guys. I think I grabbed the wrong bobbers. We're gonna put the standard bobber on about, I'd say a foot and a half up the line. Boom. Pow. Here we go, boys, that's perfect. Now the last step to this bluegill rig, we're gonna get a split shot weight. We're just gonna put a split shot about halfway up the line. I don't like to put it close to the hook because those bluegill will start pecking at it. Cinch it down with our pliers and we're all good. That's the rig that we got, bobber, split shot, hook. We got our rigs rigged up. We just have to put a night crawler on the end of it. But before we step any further, I want to go ahead and fill this live bait bucket up with water. It's a lot easier when you do it before you catch the fish. Okay. There we go. All right. 
that should be good guys got a little bit of water up in there now we're gonna grab our aerator and the lid don't want to get that water too hot add a little bit of shade onto it i'm actually gonna put it inside the styrofoam so to hold it there put our aerator in the water and then simply boom there is our live well or live bait okay put the lid on it we're all good it is time to rig up some of our little night crawlers. You want me to rig it up for you, Tara? No. Are you, you scared? You show me how. No, I'm not scared. They'll bite you. I'm not scared of any little worms. Okay, grab you a slice. Hey, that is good. They're very tasty. You throw it through once or twice? Two or three times. Just know that their mouths are really small, you know. Let's go ahead and get this started. That was kind of our money zone, right where I just casted right there last time. We're going to see how they're biting right now. See him playing with me? Biting really soft. He stole my worm. What a way to start. What a way. By the way, guys, if you have any tips on how to put these night crawlers on, or like even the size of them, and what you guys think is the best way to handle this, let me know. I love learning new things and just seeing how other people do it. I've always just got a small piece for these bluegill and just put it on the edge of the hook. It's always how I've done it, but if you guys have any suggestions on what's worked well for y'all, I love hearing the ideas. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got one? Is he on there still? Heck yeah, girl, get him there. Yay! Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Don't tell me that's a bass. <laughs> Is it really a bass? <laughs> that's crazy. That's the smallest okay. bass I've ever uh, seen. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty insane. Let like, me see that thing. In my life. Should we like keep him like at our house? <laughs> like a pet? No, like grow him. That would be a good pet sized bass. So guys, I want to hear you all out. I'm obviously not gonna use this today. It's it's just a pretty little guy. But if we should run a fishing experiment at some point, should we fish with live bass for big bass? I want to know y'all's feedback because I've had so many people tell me like, hey, no, you should do that. I've just been iffy on it. And if you guys want to see a bass versus bass video, um, definitely let me know. But we're not going to use him today. <laughs> we're going to let him go. He's got to grow up and get big. These fish are being really finicky. There we go. There we go. You're not going to believe it. It's another, no, it's not the same one, but it, it's literally another baby bass. It's crazy, guys, because we caught so many bluegill and even a couple warmouth in this corner last time. And now we're not getting as many bites, but we are getting bass bites. So maybe we need to fish a different spot here. We're on the nursery of the bass, the little pre-K over here. Look how tiny they are. They're so cute. If we did film the live bait bass video, we know where we know where to come. The one time we're trying to catch bluegill and not bass. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you're getting hit. He just tried to run off with you. He's running off with you. If I catch another bass here, I might move on to the other pond or maybe even that corner. There were so many bluegill here last time. We didn't have that problem, but. You're just throwing it in and instantly catching them. Yeah. Surprisingly, sometimes this is the hardest part of the live bait challenge. Oh my gosh. Look how small this is. This one's smaller than the last ones. What in the world? There we go. There we go. It's a war mouth too. That's not even a bluegill, but I heard this is some really good live bait. That was their first live bait of the day. Honestly, perfect size too, guys. That is money. Little war mouth. We'll take them. Look at that. Beautiful size. That's going to catch a freaking tank. First fish in the live bait bucket. Thank you, baby. Turn on our aerator. There we go. It's all good. Guys, it is so hot outside. And we've even been putting these worms in the shade that these worms are already like all dead. We haven't even been fishing that long. I think it's like a real feel of 105, if you could imagine. Give me some. Yes. Little tiny dude. Oh my gosh. That is candy size for these bass. Not necessarily, I'd say, the size that I'll want, but I'll take them. And guys, we're going to be doing a mixture of live bait and cut bait today, just so we can maximize the most bites that we can possibly get. So this might be one of those that we use as cut bait. I don't know. We'll see. I just feel like when it comes to live bait, I like them a little bigger than this. 
because they have a little more kick, a little more power to them. But we'll take them for our second fish. All right, let's get back out there. Right here in this little shady spot. Watch. Watch how quick they're eating it. They're primed and ready. They are. Get it, get it. Get him, Tara. Is that a bass? What the heck you got? You got something big. Is that a bass? It is. It is a bass. Okay. Well, that's. We can't use him as live bait. I got one. Bluegill too. Oh, that's money size right there. <laughs> that one's money. Looks like we finally found the spot that's producing. Thank you, baby. That's bait number three. Probably our best one yet. Nice. That's a good one, Tara. Yeah. That one's money. That's our best Yay. one yet. I got a bluegill. I got a bluegill. I got a bluegill. <laughs> there we go, boys. That's a better one. Oh, dude. Money. All right, guys, two new bluegill. I actually had to leave my hook in mine, every, sadly. He just, he got the hook a little too far for me to get it. All right, guys, we got five live bait. Let's try to get six right here real quick. There we go, Tara. I got number six. Pretty small one, but he counts. Here we go, boys. Live bait number six. A little bite size. A little snack size candy bar. Fish are biting so good, guys. They're biting freaking amazing. Come on, give me number seven. There we go. Give me number seven. Thank you, baby. I'll take one more. Yeah, you only have one to use. I have seven. <laughs> There's number eight. Yeah, that's a really good one, too. Thank you, baby. Who's it gonna be? Number nine. Number nine. That was a good one. Yes. That's so awesome, guys. That is number nine. Let's go ahead and load up the truck and get out to the big fish hole. All right, y'all. We're all packed up. Let's get on the road. All right, boys. Time to get all the supplies. Uh-oh. Little bit of water dribble. Just a little bit. Oh, let's check on our boys. See what they're doing. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Got plenty of fish in the aquarium. Lay this puppy down. We're gonna have to carry that out a long walk. Slap some boots on. Got the crush and got the kicking combo. Definitely gonna grab that other kicking combo. And to be fair, guys, I'm probably gonna grab this kicking combo bait caster. We got all four rods, we got all the supplies, we got a rag, and we have the live bait. Locker truck. I will catch you guys at the pond. Oh, boys. At least three quarters of a mile later. Let's see how the fish are doing. Oh, man. They are doing better than ever. Look at that, boys. Oh, man, I'm pumped about it. This is the spot that we're at today. Little swamp pond. It's got a swamp behind here feeding natural water. We need to go ahead and get these poles ready for the rigs. We're gonna be doing some cut bait rigs and also live bait rigs. We're gonna get the live bait out first and then uh, see what we can catch, guys. I think it's gonna be fun, so let's hop into it. All right, Tara, so we're gonna need two of these big bobbers for the bluegill. You got it. We're gonna use these two big octopus circle hooks. We're gonna put a bobber on about a foot and a half up the line. I wanna keep this bluegill at the top of the surface. And by the way, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for me, definitely let us know. I'm not no professional live bait fisherman by any means. I just enjoy doing it. We're gonna be filming more and more of these, so we're gonna be learning throughout the way. All right, guys, now it is time to rig up our live bait. Tara rigged one up, I got one as well. Circle hook, about a foot and a half up the line, got a big bobber. So Tara, we got some options here. Would you like to hook them? And the mouth, which I don't prefer. The tail or the back? The back. I like that choice. There was a lot of comments in the last video, people talking about how the warm mouth are really good live bait. And we actually didn't keep the warm mouth that we caught last time. But today, we kept them. And that is my first time ever live bait fishing with a warm mouth. There's actually a little canal right there behind that tree that has natural water pouring in from that swamp. And that's where a bunch of these big fish hide. So I'm gonna cast him right out there. Oh, that's so perfect. Hopefully he doesn't get too much up in that willow tree, but I think we should have a good spot there. 
Make sure our drag set. Make sure your drag set too, Tara. I'm gonna go get a cut bait rig set up, leave her bell open, let him kind of do his thing. Hopefully he doesn't get cut off. I'm actually gonna rig up a cut bait on the old Kickin' Their Bass TV X Loose Baitcaster combo. These are on kickintheirbass.com as well. Link will be down below in the description. So as far as our cut bait goes, I'm just gonna put one of these circle hooks on and then I'm gonna pile two or three split shots about a foot up the line. That's pretty much how I'm gonna run this. Cut bait, all rigged up. I'm gonna cast this down here a little more. Money. Honestly, good thing I'll tie this cut bait on the bait caster. I can really get it out there good. So this war mouth right here, it kind of swam away from that willow tree all the way up on the bank. I kind of want to take him in this corner over here by these lay downs and just see if I can kind of pitch him around and maybe get some bites. Oh no, I caught him in the tree, of course. And he fell off. You have got to be kidding me, dude. That is just my luck, bro. The one bait I was excited to use today. Instead of going by that tree, I feel like that's the recipe for disaster. <laughs> I'm actually going to take him down here a little bit. There we go. Let's cast him right out there. Oh, oh yes, yes. Here we go, Tara. You ready? I got him. Wait, he came off. Oh. No. Okay, that was a good sign though. We got our first bite today, guys. Big fish bite. Tara's uh, bluegill bobber is starting to go a little crazy here. We're hoping she's going to get a bite, but that was my first bite today. Oh, man. I should have I let him eat it a little longer. I got excited. All right, guys, just patience. I had to come over here and sit by Tara in the shade. It is a real feel of 107. I'm just excited that we just got a bite. That's a great sign. Maybe these fish are going to start heating up here. I got another bite. He's taking it. Look at this, Tara. See him running with it? Yeah. I'm ready. Here we go. There we go. He came off again. He came off again. They were hammering it though, Tara. That's a great sign. I'm gonna throw it back in there. It's like always a learning curve for me when I come out live bait fishing, guys, because I don't do it often. So it's like I always have to relearn waiting the hooks. Wait, not even the hooks, I just waiting to hook them. You don't, oh, I just felt him. I felt him just eat it all the way. He just ate it. We're gonna let this fish run for a second. He just, I just felt him pecking at it. And now I just felt that one initial thump. That means he just ate the bait. Pray for me. Third time's the charm. Came off again. Came off again. It could be a small fish, but that bite just didn't seem like it was a small fish. They have totally ate just about everything out of that bluegill. That looks as clean as they can get. All the guts are gone. He knocked my hook out. That could have been my problem. My hook was buried in the bait. This is what I felt. Tick. Barely light tick. Kept a little pressure on it just so I could feel it. Another small tick. And then all of a sudden on my third pull, I felt this. Boom. Really? And that was him sucking it in. Yeah. I just think that hook wasn't exposed enough. I didn't even pay attention. There's no way. I got one. Unless you got me. Yeah, I got a fish. Holy cow. I got a fish right away. Look, you see the boil? freaking missed him again dude i gotta let these fish eat it i think he actually took my bait throw it throw over there tara they're biting like crazy man i just got beat up boys all right guys that's a juicy piece i can't believe how quick that thing was biting oh tara i just got hammered i got one i'm gonna wait though he's running heavy guys i might need to yeah I got him. He's going in your your bait. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a big. It's something big. Oh, it's a mudfish. Oh, he came off. Wow. Those bites are intense, guys. Holy cow. They are the hardest, like thump, and then they have it. Well, there we go. That's our first fish. We didn't land them, but that was a mudfish. 
it seems like they're finally starting to come to life the sun is starting to get a little bit behind the clouds it feels a lot better on us definitely feels a lot better on the fish as well and we're noticing some more bites so let's keep our heads high and uh let's land one of these giants that one? oh i got a fish oh yes yes come on baby yes sir there we go first fish that we're about to land on the cut bait is actually a baby mudfish that is the smallest mudfish i've actually ever caught you guys look at him beautiful though beautiful colors it's probably the first video that you'll see me say beautiful mudfish because we're actually fishing for really whatever bites today we're gonna get the pliers make this a little easier on us but that is nice because it is the first fish that we have landed today had a pretty large mud fish on before you just happen to come off and these things are dang mean boys that's why i'm gonna make it easier but yeah first fish of the video that'll get us started thank you baby not a big one yet but that's okay i'd rather start with a small one and end with a big one so stay tuned guys because we're catching one of these giants i actually just cut up a new live bait piece for tara and i split it in half before i cut it in the thirds this time i just split it into two pieces so let's get our bait back in there boys money tara has something messing with her bluegill i'm actually gonna reel mine over here so I can get out of her way. If a fish eats that and starts taking off with it, I don't want it to get in my line. So we're gonna move my bluegill down slightly. Right out of there. There we go. That's better. Give her some room. Yeah, just let it, let it do its thing. <gasps> Tear up my rod. My rod. My rod. There we go, boys. That's a big one. That's a big one. Let's go. Oh my God, he just came off. Oh, that was a big fish. Dang it. Oh no. I had him hooked. Oh gosh, guys, these fish are beating us up. He almost took my rod in the water and he took my bait from over here to there so i was thinking you know he definitely has it but maybe he just didn't have it all the way i saw my whole rod like just thump 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 and i'm like oh no he's got it again are you serious yeah he, he got it again that's a different fish has to be i should wait a good second shouldn't i there we go i don't think that's a fish that's a tree. <laughs> oh, he's got it. All right, boys. He's got it. Might be our best catch of the day. Definitely bigger than that first fish. Get out of here. All right, Tara, what you got? I think I got a bite. You got your first bite. Okay, just reel and lift at the same time. Reel really fast and lift. There you go, girl. There you go, girl. I think he's off. Oh, come off? Yeah, yeah, he did. Gosh, dang it okay we were hook setting too early i thought he had it for a minute we just really gotta let him eat it you know i think so too it's, it's gonna be a long long wait but it'll be worth it think about the one that i caught i have my pole sitting down you know yeah all right guys a little update on the live bait rigs i don't think we've had any bites yet we might have had a few chasers we've seen a lot of activity on these bluegill we just haven't really seen what we want to see as far as like that bluegill going crazy, bobber going down, taking off. Um, you know, we haven't really had an opportunity yet. At least our cut bait rigs are starting to get eaten pretty well. We're getting bites with one bait today. Oh, someone's got it. Oh, he's running with it. Here, just open your bell, open your bell. He's taking off, ain't he? I'll let him have it for a sec. I think I got one too, Tara. Are we about to double up? Yeah, I think so. Oh, never mind. Mine spit it out. I think mine did too. Did it really? You got He's it. on there. You got him? He's on there. There you go, girl. Oh. You got more? Unless he's always oh, running with me. That's definitely a mudfish with how he's running. Yeah, it is. There you go, girl. Yay! It's your first cut bait fish. Get out of here. 
here. Get your yeah, first cut bait fish. Good job, girl. Ooh, yay. Heck yeah. Let's go. Okay, not a big one. A Another mud guy. But hey, that's okay, Tara. We need something, right? We gotta prepare for these giants we're about to catch. I had to get on board, now you're on board. Now the big fish are gonna bite. We just gotta give them some time. Your bluegill's actually going crazy, you see that? I can't believe it has that much life still. Thank you, buddy. There you go, Yay! good job. I'm excited. All right, we both have a fish, Tara, nothing big. So now we gotta just upgrade. We gotta get, we gotta get mad at these, we gotta get mad at these fish. That's a good one, I think. Yeah, that's that's gotta be a better one. Okay, it's another mud, I'm pretty sure. Look at them running. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one's a little bigger. Not by much, but we'll take them. It's kind of disgusting to think how many mudfish are in this thing swamp pond, but we're catching them boys. We've caught three of these mudfish so far, and I don't know if you guys see, but the, the circle hook is right below their mouth. I think what's been happening, oh my gosh, is they've been getting in that tough part, part of their mouth and we just haven't been able to keep them hooked. But uh, that's our third mudfish. Here we go, that one's a little bigger. All right, boys and girls, it is a week later, still 105, 110 degrees. It has been a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. We're trying our very best to get as much content as we can for y'all. It has just been tough, but we are back out at this swamp pond that we came to, live bait fishing, and also cut bait fishing, and we're gonna be trying it again this afternoon. I got Tara behind the camera and uh we just heard a fish blow up in the background that's a good sign so i went by the tackle shop i grabbed some more red wigglers i'm gonna show you guys these Let's see what we got for y'all look at that look at that some nice little red wigglers to catch our live bait so in the previous live bait episodes we have gone to this one pond to catch a majority of the bluegill we're actually just gonna bobber fish with night crawlers in the same pond that we're gonna be live bait fishing in so that's the plan we got our live bait bucket we got all of our supplies we also have our fishing poles, two kicking combos, which you can check out on kickingtheirbass.com. Then we also have the mock smash. You can check that out on mock. But yeah, we got all the supplies we need. We're just gonna rig up some bluegill rigs, start fishing again, see if we can catch some more live bait and then put on some chunk bait, also some live bait and see what else we can catch in this place. So let's go ahead and get after it. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, let's get it back started, son. We got a few. Tara, we only got a couple more left. We better be careful. Can't be breaking off. Well, we know I don't break off, so. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So we're going to rig up these bluegill rigs real quick. I'm actually kind of pumped to just bluegill fish in this pond because I haven't done it before. And who knows? We might end up catching some other creatures other than just bluegill. I guess we'll see. But we're going to go ahead and rig these up just real quick and get after it. We got one combo rigged up bluegill rig. She's rigging up the other one. And we also have this other kicking combo with just a fat circle hook. That's literally all we have on it. So while we're catching bluegill, I think I'm gonna throw this out there with just like a big worm on there and just see if we can catch anything on it. All right. This she were who we can find. Who is a big nasty boy? These are a little smaller. These are red wigglers. They're not like big night crawlers. I was doing that just cause the bluegill, like I don't, really need anything super big okay we're gonna put one worm on it like that we're gonna grab another one these things are wild man these are some wiggler and a half right here son i'm gonna go ahead and throw this out here boys and see if we can get something to bite it actually looks really good very lightweight we're just gonna kind of toss it there and i'm gonna leave it right there all right let's get started with our bluegill journey i'm gonna start down here you sure Watch them be just like ridiculously big. <laughs> like just completely monsters of bluegill. I could totally see that happening. Not your average size bluegill. Let's see, we need to find the hot spot though. There we go. Any bites? Oh, about to have one right now. Ask me that again. I didn't get a bite until you said that. I'm, wait, oh, oh, I got one, Tara. Oh no. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, is he on there? There we go. Hey, we're on the board. Oh, buddy. Oh no. 
Well, Tara struck first this afternoon. That's awesome. I want to see if I can catch this one up here. He's just being a little stubborn. To be honest, I'm I'm casting all the way across with this dang little thing. And I haven't been able to make the same cast. That's actually the same cast where he bit me. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yep, he's biting. No shot. I got him. I got him, boys. Yes, sir. -y. We are on board with two bait fish. Let's freak. Oh. Is that a piranha? I'm just kidding. Look at these bluegill, dude. Those are slabs. I had a feeling these fish were going to be just beautiful in here. Look at that just slab of a bluegill. Oh my gosh. Is yours this big? Not that big. I might put mine back because I, I don't. Yeah. He's just so pretty. Like, I, you know what I mean? Do you see how black these bluegill are? Like, yeah, in this that one has like a water? purple. Look, mine's even darker all right guys beautiful bluegill i'm actually going to release this one he's just so pretty and i don't want to use him as live bait we're gonna let him swim another day tara got our first live bluegill today i'm gonna go ahead and uh get some cuts out of him and rig up this kicking combo there is our first piece of cut bait nice little chunk actually a big chunk <laughs> i think this is going to take a pretty big fish to eat it Wait. Oh, I feel. That bait's just that big. <laughs> no way, right away. Is it on there? Yep. See, I was too close. I should have brought it further in. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, but. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Looks like Tara got another one. It's a good sign. I'm trying to get this bait way up on this bank here and I just suck. Like I'm just horrible. Maybe right there is pretty good. I got one, but he's fat. Like he's really big. Do you still want him? Is he big as mine? Maybe a little smaller. You can just put him back and catch another then. Get ready. Yes, sir, I got him. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a big something. Oh, it feels like a big mud fish. Oh yeah, it feels like a big mud. Oh, I got him tangled up. He's definitely bigger than his other muds. Yes, sir. There we go. First big fish of the day, Tara. Woo! Yes, ma'am. Oh gosh, he's broke me off. Well. We got him on the bank. I think that's a catch, right? That's a catch. He broke me off. That's unfortunate. I think if you wanted him to stay up here, you would have. <laughs> you know, if it was a bass, I probably would have tackled him, but I'm not feeling like wrestling a mudfish today. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Tara, that is so fat. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. One, that's just too big for a live bluegill, and two, he's just, he is just really pretty. I don't want to kill him for cut bait. There's just no purpose for that, in my opinion. I'd, I'd say we put him back beautiful fish though good catch there we go girl we got a couple we got three bluegill catches pretty big ones and a pretty large mudfish that's a good start to today all right guys we need another octopus hook since that old muddy decided to break us off <laughs> all right guys gonna tie on a new octopus hook we got to catch something else than just mudfish guys a big catfish would be awesome it really wouldn't surprise me if we caught a bass, but I just want to catch something other than mudfish. I'm actually enjoying catching them because there's something biting, but I'd like to catch a different species. All right, boys, second cut bait of the day. We're going right back to where that natural water is pouring in from the swamp into the pond. I think that's definitely where the big monsters of this pond are. And uh, we just had a pretty good mudfish bite. There's definitely ones twice, if not three times as big as him in here. Ooh, I got Mick hammered. I just felt like a little bit of pressure and I felt thump. Boys, I got something. I got a stick, what in the world? Uh, I don't know what was going on here. I thought I had a giant fish and I just catch a giant tree on cut bait. That makes so much sense. That was our best bite all day. Well, um, not what I'm looking for, but hey, at least uh, 
to put up a good fight. I got one running with me. Hold on. I gotta let him eat it, guys. This is a big bait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I literally just said, I gotta let him eat it. And then I pursued a hook set. What is wrong with me? I'm messed up in the head. <laughs> I'm literally like, I need to let him eat it. And then I hook set. What, what was that? I get so excited, man. When you're a bass fisherman, I guess that's what happens. Instantly right there. Oh my gosh, look at this one. They keep getting bigger. I I knew there was gonna be one there. That's the biggest one for me today, for sure. That is beautiful. Thank you, buddy. All right, boys, me and Tara switched roles here. She's fishing with big cut bait. I'm gonna try to catch me whatever bites on these worms. If you guys think we should come out here and film a video fishing for whatever bites with worms, let me know down below. I feel like that would be a fire video. It would be fun. We can rig them in different manners to catch mudfish, catfish, bass, bluegill. I think it would actually be a lot of fun. Get him, Tara. Get him, Tara. Oh, he's awesome. Oh, he took your bait too, didn't he? He took my bait. No. He took my bait. Wow. He was taken off too. That stinks. Oh. 